Well, it's Trial Tuesdays, and we're talking discrimination in the workplace. Attorney David Ayler is here to sort through all the details, and I say sort through the details because it can be kind of cloudy out right. there. Right, particularly depending on what type of discrimination you're talking about. A lot of people who you know, have incidents at work that they're concerned about, but whether or not that's actual discrimination, or more importantly, that they can prove it is usually the issue. Well, we do have a viewer question today, and it's from Justine, and Justine is from Mount Pleasant. Justine asked, I feel like I was wrongfully terminated. How can I prove it? When I came back from maternity leave, I felt like my job was just phased out. I have a feeling there are more women out there and even men that were on paternity leave that feel like their job was phased out just like that. Right, and I think she has the best question in there is how do I prove it? And probably what happened in that situation is what happens in so many of those situations where she left on maternity leave, uh, had somebody fill in for, maybe someone else took over the position temporarily. Mm -hmm. By the time she tries to come back, either that position is almost eliminated because of the transition or they've sort of refilled it if you will and therefore you know it looks like she's had you know been discriminated on simply for the fact that she had a child um, mm -hmm. the hard part about that is again trying to show any of that true discrimination and that's what you know she would need to show something in email something in some sort of correspondence so hey look Justine's leaving um, mm -hmm. you know we're probably gonna fill her position or eliminate her at that point in time so she almost needs maybe a mole at, and I wouldn't say a mole but maybe somebody that can say look Justine we did receive an email when you left saying that we're going to all take over these responsibilities. There's no need to have your position. Right, or they started hiring for that position, meaning like they were just going to let her oh. go then. But one thing you've got to remember, and this is where it even gets a little more technical, is in South Carolina being an at-will state, you know, they could let her go for various reasons. Now, they couldn't let her go for, you know, discriminatory type reasons, mm -hmm. but however, if she was constantly late in the mornings or, you know, uh, didn't stay to the proper time at lunch or various things like that that they may have noted, they could use those reasons to kind of remove someone. Right. And you bring up a really good point. A lot of people think that it's not that big of a deal if I'm late every now and again or if I stay out to lunch a little longer than that hour, but you're giving them ammunition in the event that something does happen down the line. Absolutely. There's a lot of people, unfortunately, probably are discriminated on one form or another within their job. Unfortunately, due to their own actions within that job, maybe some other times when they're making choices that are less than productive for the company, they're able to actually be pushed out of that company because of those reasons as opposed to what might actually be the real reason that you would have a civil suit to go with. Yeah, let's say that Justine is watching right now and for some reason or other, because that would be very difficult to get that information from maybe some of her coworkers. Right. She can't get that information. Is there anything else that she can do or any other advice that you might have? Well, there's there's a lot of good attorneys here in town that, you know, get involved in employment law. If you feel like you have some sort of case, uh, whether it be a free consultation or a low price consultation, it'd be worth going to sit down with an attorney who practices in that field just to see if they feel like you have anywhere to go. Uh, and mm -hmm. if you don't, at least you tried at that point. You're not just wondering. Yeah, and oftentimes do you find, David, that maybe she's not the first one they've done this to, especially if they've had the same boss maybe for 20 years, maybe that same person has done this to a number of women or men. Absolutely, and that's something that you can look into too is if there is a track record and then when you have that in type of employment situations with discrimination, you really get into some serious level civil litigation. Mm -hmm. And always remember as a man, you have the same right as females. It's called paternity leave if you need to leave for your wife's purposes and maternity leave if you're a female that needs to leave. So. They do have rights as well. Right. And one thing you got to look at whenever the situation is before you leave, whatever you're leaving on, make sure you know what the terms and conditions are and really just try to follow within those yourself and also within the company so hopefully the transition is a little smoother. Mm -hmm. He's David Ayler. If you have any questions that you'd like to submit, we're giving you free information here. All you got to do is go to our website at abcnews4.com and click on the Low Country Live tab and right there it'll say Trial Tuesdays. Thank you so much, David, for coming. We appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me. All right, we've got more Low Country Live coming up right after the break. Stay with us.